What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and this is about to be the greatest time of the year. It's already started, you can feel it creeping into our bones as the cold rages outside, the leaves fall down, the games keep popping up. We started Halo 5 on the channel this past weekend, and it has been freaking amazing. One of my favorite first person shooter campaigns thus far, I cannot wait to show you more, but we've got another big juggernaut of a title starting off real soon here, and I'm gonna open it up, and that's not the most exciting thing. The most exciting thing is that I'll be starting my Assassin's Creed Syndicate walkthrough series on Monday, this Monday, October 19th at 12 Eastern Standard Time, 12 EST, that's 9 Pacific if you're out on the West Coast, I believe that's 5 if you're over uh, in England and Europe. Five, six, seven, whatever your GMT of choice is, uh, and then that would be 11 a.m. Uh, Central Time if you're like in Chicago or somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start off. So let's open it up. I've even got gameplay for you today that I can show you right now um, that I recorded as a special event. Um, so this game uh, is set in London, speaking of Europe. So this is the limited edition uh, that has the Darwin and Dickens conspiracy mission and it has the PlayStation exclusive uh, 10 bonus missions. It says the dreadful crimes you can see right there. Uh, extra content for PS4 and then the limited edition there. Um, this isn't obviously the collector's edition that comes with like the statue and all that stuff, which I think is pretty Pretty darn cool. Um, maybe I'll get that around launch time as well. But here it is. The disc is like, look at that. It wants to just pop right out. Uh, and the disc has Jacob on it, two playable characters, Jacob and Evie, which I think is pretty cool. And then we have the Darwin's and Dickens Conspiracy Mission DLC um, that is right here that I'm not going to show you so I can download and play that for you. And then we've got the PlayStation exclusive Dreadful Crimes uh, 10 Missions content as well as a advertisement for Assassin's Creed Chronicles, uh, which... They released the uh, the China pack, but then India and Russia are coming soon. I thought that game was pretty darn cool. It reminded me of Mark of the Ninja, a side-scrolling assassin-style game. I actually thought it was pretty darn good, and I like the graphical style and kind of the mix-up of the traditional uh, look. And I mean, it still had AC gameplay tendencies, but I like that it was in China and a female lead character and just some different stuff there. Um, so that should be pretty cool. Then here is a Assassin's Creed Master Assassin pack code um, that gives you the black flag outfit in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then here is some info on the season pass if you want to purchase that, um, which gives you uh, bonus missions and the Jack the Ripper uh, like side pack as well as items and guns and whatnot. So there's a little info on that. Um, but let's go to the gameplay. I've got some gameplay of a mission uh, later in the game from Syndicate, and then we'll start from the very beginning on Monday. Please be there. I'll be doing a giveaway uh, of the game, so if you want to get your hands on Assassin's Creed, if you want to see Assassin's Creed, if you want to be a part of it early, uh, like we did an awesome job on Halo 5, I super appreciate your support. It means a ton to me, uh, and I'm glad that we're able to have these opportunities, because it's thanks to you guys. You guys supporting the videos, you guys being a part of the Ghost Roll Army and this whole thing for five years now gives me the opportunity to bring you stuff super early and super cool, because AC Syndicate does not come out on Monday, obviously, but I will have lots of video footage and coverage for you there. Cannot wait to see you on Monday at 12 Eastern Standard Time. For now, let's go to the gameplay and check out AC Syndicate. We enter London 1868, taking up the mantle of Evie here, the sister of Jacob. Lots of guards. Predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. And uh, in this mission here uh, that I played at PAX Prime up in Seattle, we are entering the area via riverboat, and we're looking to capture, or kill, or take out in any capacity, uh, a target. And there's multiple ways to do this, um, and I went about it all the ways, and this was the coolest way, I thought. So I wanted to share this with you, give you guys a little taste, get you excited for the full game uh, that, like I mentioned in my uh, unboxing portion, will be up at 12 EST uh, on Monday. So that's tomorrow, if you're watching this as soon as it comes up. London looks pretty, just taking in some of the scenery. I like that there's a, a large draw distance uh, with smokestacks and lights uh, off along the horizon line. I'm hoping that this game um, manages to wrangle in all the technical bugs that plague Unity throughout. And I think the rope launcher uh, is definitely one of the smartest, best additions to this game. It speeds up all of the shenanigans involving climbing, and climbing has always been one of the most fun parts of AC, but now adding speed to that equation seems to make it all that much better. The shroud is in a chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Halt! Escort to the keys! Halt! Who comes there? The keys! Whose keys? Queen Victoria's keys. Pass Queen Victoria's keys. All is well. You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. 
Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until I get out. There'll be hell to pay. Alright, so assassinate Lucy Thorne is the mission. She looks like some woman straight out of uh, Alice in Wonderland. We've got three options here. There's one where we can get keys and kind of sneak our way in, get assistance from the constable, uh, and then kind of merge ourselves into the fray uh, by... Well, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see in a second. Um, I, again, the rope launcher, like, it's a simple thing, but it's something that... I think just makes super sense, especially as the AC franchise advances along the timeline. Buildings get bigger, structures get more complex, uh, and it allows for, I think, a greater level of uh, speedy vertical gameplay, as well as just, like, the ability to do stuff like this. So, like, hey, I can see where I want to go, and instead of feeling like I'm constantly, you know, having to, to scramble over the rooftops, or what occasionally happened in AC, where you'd be wrestling with, like, am I going up, am I going down, am I on the ledge, am I not on the ledge, where do I have to press, blah, 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 blah. This is the Allied Guard, um, and it gives us some unique kill opportunities, and he is going to assist us in getting into the castle. Uh, he's killing people in the back alley right here. Not the nicest of dudes, but hopefully he's ready to help us out, because both of us have a hatred uh, for this Lucy lady. I love Lucy. That show didn't exist at this point in time, so we are more than happy to take her out. <laughs> Thank heavens you've come. That Thorn woman has Templars everywhere, disguised as guards. I think I could pass as one of them long enough to sneak you inside, except the guards out here already know my face. You need to deal with them first. Meet me by the White Tower when you're ready. Alright. So we've got disguised Templars that we need to take out. Um, and again, like, he's gonna go away and we wanna make sure that we're not associated here. But you got that little prompt and instantly you can just crawl up these buildings. And I'm not even pressing anything, it just automatically takes you up. And you could say it's dumbing down of the system, but frankly I think it just is simplifying, uh, something that adds a little bit of annoyance in time. This guard is not happy with me. Um, <laughs> gotcha! Okay, he thinks I'm there. He just saw his friend get killed. He must have been sleeping on the job because he didn't seem too concerned or worried about that. But we'll escape the area. Um, it does feel like when I play this, I've now played AC Syndicate twice um, over the last six months. And it does feel like the game has been refined since Unity. It feels like some of the mechanics and whatnot play better. And I like some of the different new uh, pieces of weaponry and whatnot um, in terms of uh, some of the grenades, the bombs, the new things that you have access to. Um, all in all, like, does it feel drastically different? No. But it does feel like it'll hopefully be, like, the polished version of Unity that we hoped. Now, granted, I haven't played the full game yet, uh, but once I do, you'll get to see that very, very soon. 12 ESTN Monday. Um, and I'm hoping that none of, like, the weird, creepy, like, facial bugs or the falling through the floor bugs or some of that stuff, climbing bugs, uh, plague this game like they did in uh, last year's title. And I think, like, if done right, London could be pretty sweet. And the whole, like, Jacob and Evie... Uh, dual storyline is a first for the franchise, and I love the fact that we're swapping back and forth, uh, and that they have different, like, tactics and different skills. So Evie's primary, like, her kind of, like, go-to ability is that, you see it right there, she becomes invisible when standing still. It's almost like she's wearing Harry Potter's, like, magic cloak, um, that when she has that, uh, she, as long as she's perfectly still and no one, like, touches her, she can't be seen. So it's like a... A natural camouflage almost and um, which doesn't make a whole lot of logical sense it's not very scientific uh, but it is super cool that Jacob and Evie will have uh, you know a a difference between them it's not like oh one's female one's male like they are gonna have different uses and I hope that really comes through in the missions I hope that they choose to use them in missions where it makes sense I'm gonna show you guys right here uh, the bomb this is the lightning bomb and the, a whole group of guards is about to walk into wigwam terror look at this Bomb drop, and we take all of them out, electrifying, uh, that, that depletes their health meters halfway. They're trying to get up and recover, and then we're going to say, not today, not today, and we siphon all of their lifeline straight from their souls. And take out that entire patrol of guards. Um, kind of not going along with the stealthy approach that we have chosen here, but I, I couldn't resist. I had to do that. Um, we do have uh, these throwing knives here, which are pretty killer, uh, and headshots of them feel absolutely epic. I miss on the first. Uh, we'll line up the second and miss again. Third time's the charm, though. That's how it goes. Headshot, baby. Um, Evie has to get used to her uh, her knife chucking prowess here. Um, but even stuff for like this, you can get from tower to tower without having to go down and like slowly like you know siddle or sidle or whatever that word is like along the sides and then climb up the other tower. I don't know. I just like it a lot. So we killed the guards that were necessary to kill, and now I can go back and meet my friend um, and get down. That's a long way down though. So I'm gonna try and. Uh, 
descend here a little bit more naturally. There we go. Down we go. Dropping like it's hot uh, so that we don't boil our own blood uh, or ruin any of our limbs. Hello, Allied Guard. Let's go find Thorn. That's all for the men out here. What's next? Miss Thorn wants me captured. If she sees me in chains, she might let her guard down. Can you make it look convincing? You mean pretend like you're my prisoner? I'll do my best, ma'am. Alright, so we're doing a false kidnapping here. Which is a pretty unique maneuver. Um, so we're actually driving this show. Uh, this horse and buggy. Um, if he's the horse, I'm the buggy. Or I'm the horse and he's the buggy, I guess. Because I'm, I'm driving the show. So, horse uh, Evie is actually controlling this. So there's a noise and um, like perception circle around us. Uh, so if we make that too big, then guards are more likely to... Yeah. Templars might realize I'm not one of theirs. Exactly. Then let's keep our distance. So right now as I walk, that circle is very small. So unless someone is like directly in this circle, uh, they will not notice that this is like a, a prank, basically. Um, they will not notice the falsehood of our uh, actions. But if I move quickly or if I'm making noise, then they're more likely, it's more likely to draw attention and more likely for them to be aware. I'm a little nervous here just because like I'm going into this clearly restricted area uh, as myself and like if they see me like, oh god. So we're gonna take it slow. There are guards everywhere. People with Thorn. Um, assassinating Lucy Thorn is our idea. You can see that she is up. The Templars own London assassin. Don't forget it. And they're like yelling at me and harassing me. Um, but things are about to get weird and wacky. I did not realize my circle was so big right here. And he gets right into it. Realizes that I'm not, not really uh, being kidnapped. The butler says hello. And you get to see how Evie is really quick with her combat. She uses like this magical cane staff thing um, to really take people out. And it's, it was fun to like do the whole mission super stealthy. Like with the, the, uh, the rope hook shot and uh, you know like taking guards out and throwing knives and stuff and not getting spotted. And then I'm like let's go combat crazy and uh, Mortal Kombat up these messy dudes and make haste uh, with our objective. So we're just gonna run through this beautiful place. Um, graphically, it looked pretty good. Um, I still am not the biggest fan of the character models, but I thought the environments and stuff looked awesome. There's Lucy Thorne. Um, we're gonna do some damage to her, but she has a lot of friends here. Um, so even though I've got fancy moves, it's pretty dangerous. Uh, so I'm like, oh god, what am I gonna do here? There are too many people, so I need to find some opportunities. Uh, I'm gonna pull out my hallucinogenic dart here, and let's see if I can get a shot uh, on these people. Um, dodging and ducking. Again, this is not the smartest way to do things, um, but I did just throw that uh, into the fire, and therefore it should affect more people in the range, I believe. Um, let's see. Okay. We'll do some more work on her to take her down. I think she is poisoned at this point, I believe. Um, and now I'm just making a break for it, because she will die. Uh, at some point, I just gotta... Build my distance so that once she does, they don't come after me and realize that I was the nasty uh, who did this. Now, you could approach this entirely stealthily, and I did that at one point, um, where you come in and you're using, like, you know, stealth takedowns and, and a lot of, like, corner cover um, to make sure that you're not really uh, being, you know, you're not seeing enough to deal with a, a major battle. Um, but I don't have the key. I didn't get that option. As you recall, I didn't go steal the keys. But I can't shoot this guy down. Um, and we can see that everybody is in the room. They see me. And now, I believe she has died. She passed out um, from the poison. I think. More knives and bombs. Just headshotting dudes left and right. And we're going to get the assassination cutscene uh, in a second here. I like that effect on the screen. And where it's like, what the heck happened? It's all hallucinogenic. But uh, things are going to slow down. Because Luthi's thorn has definitely been slowed down herself. I hope you never find the Shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. Tell me then. No. Wipes the blood, and now it's time to wind our way out of here. Evie and Jacob journeying across London for the cause of the assassins. 
what exactly is the syndicate. We'll have to find out soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay and the unboxing. Come back tomorrow, 12 Eastern Standard Time, Monday for a giveaway and the first part of my gameplay walkthrough series. Cannot wait to see you there. I'm super pumped. Love you guys all so much. Thank you for being huge fans. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for making this possible. Couldn't do it without you. It's been five fantastic years and I'm ready to keep rolling for five more. So until next time, everyone, thanks again. Drink so much all. Fantastic day. We'll see you all tomorrow at 12 Eastern Standard Time.